Hi everybody. Hey, you know we're here in the northeastern side of the United States and it's time of year, it's October 2nd. We have to start thinking about heat and electricity that we must provide on our own when the utilities may fail. I think I talked about in another video how we use solar panels to keep our systems backed up and going if the power did go down. Uh, since it's getting winter time, I wanted to go up on the side of the wall here and uh, check on our solar panels and make sure that they're buttoned down for the winter and that we have caulking on and there are no leaks and they're clean. So since I'm going to do that, I thought I'd take the opportunity to take you guys up there with me. I'll show you around a little bit, how they tip, how we wired them in and uh, give you the 10 cent tour and as well as show you uh, what we use them for here and uh, our expectations for upcoming uh, add-ons. Okay, so uh, hang around and uh, we'll get started on that. We're outside now. Those are the panels up there. There's about 100 watts up there. So I'm going to go up and uh, use this ladder. I'm going to clean them up with some water, squeegee them off. I'm going to put some caulk around the window and uh, make sure everything's bolted down good in case we have any high winds this winter. So. All right, give me a minute. All right, believe it or not, it's raining it lux. Just gonna take a look around up here and see if it looks okay. Yeah, we're up here a ways. The traffic noises are kind of bad up here. You know, they really don't look that dirty. They really look pretty good. Made this to tip out. And there's a screw that's holding it down here from tipping it. And there's two hinges on the top there. Let me see if I can see them. There's the two hinges. Up there. So. No, these are in good shape. So this entire piece um, is on galvanized rail that forms a square and then it's pivoted at the top with two heavy duty hinges and I have it bolted down here on the bottom right now but uh, in the summer I could pull that bolt out and tip them upwards to catch the sun at a uh, better angle. So. I've got a motor inside that I'll show you um, that will do that tipping. Like I said, I won't install it till spring. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and caulk this window up real quick and uh, call this done. These are in good shape. They're still clean. They've only been hanging up here uh, they've, they've been hanging up here since uh, spring. I guess it was so that's why they're still pretty clean so let me get down from here and uh, I'll caulk that up this is a uh, c-band satellite dish jack that moves the older c-band dishes around and this is what I was going to put under that framework to move my solar panels you know for summer and then winter positions um, I won't be doing this until spring because I really don't need to move it now because you know the 
the sun is lower in the winter and we're coming up on the winter season so there's no reason to really move it right now anyway so I will do another show on putting this arm on sometime in the spring so make sure you subscribe to that okay let's get started on my power wall and uh, we'll talk about the power that we use okay so the power the wires from the solar panels um, come into this area this is like a utility room that's off our main building in the back um, that has all our systems and stuff in it um, so the wire comes in here and it comes into these charge controllers from the solar panels and then um, it drops down into these boxes and then it goes into this battery box that can hold um, six deep cycle golf cart batteries that are six volts each. Um, back up here, this is a uh, backup charger in case we don't get enough uh, sun that day. We can use that as a backup system. This top one is our current bat battery voltage, and then the bottom one is the draw on the system. And it's currently at uh, just about 5.4 amps. So that's the draw from just the security uh, system camera. Nothing else is running on this. This switch right here allows us to switch between uh, solar panel power charger power either or or both uh, the batteries are fully fused um, inside this box there's a big fuse uh, breaker and then this front light with the switch is for venting so when it's charging it's venting with a dryer vent to the outside this box right here on the top is a disconnect that's also used for AC applications and as we come up there's three inverters on the wall that go into the uh, battery banks and then it comes up through this uh, panel um, through this monitoring station that shows what we're using uh, consuming and then it goes up to this panel and currently I only have one breaker in there but there's room for um, I believe six more so um, in a nutshell that is our our solar system that's dedicated to its own uh, 110 plugs and then in the computer room we have uh, dedicated lines that hook into these systems that if we need the power we can just switch the plugs over plus we have the um, UPS systems that keep us going temporarily till we make that change that I showed you in another video and uh, that's it and we can run for quite a while on this system the power has gone out many times and it's great to have we just push the button and we go and the batteries take care of themselves with our 100 watts of solar panels we plan to add more solar panels in the future um, as we need them probably next spring and then we're going to add that uh, motor to tip the solar panels in another time too I wanted to come in this room and just show you what a, uh, a dedicated power drop looks like to the solar panels um, if you can see these two yellow things up here these are uh, coil cord poles and they come to the back of here I don't know if you can see this very well and we can switch this dedicated line over to run exclusively on battery uh, power if we need be so we are set up for um, no power situations if we need to use it 
So um, today's not a very nice day. It's uh, cloudy and a little rainy out. I'm glad that we were able to get the video out. Uh, let us know what you think. If you like these videos, thumbs up. We love to read comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.